my channel. Today I am filming a False Lashes 101 video for you guys. Um, so I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how to apply false lashes and the easiest way that I find to do so. Um, as you can see, I already have most of my makeup done. Um, that would be because I'm in the middle of filming another video. And if that video is up, I will leave it linked down below in the description box. And if it is not, once it goes up, I will put it in the description box. This video is pretty straightforward, um, so let's go ahead and just hop right into putting on the lashes. Alright, so I'm zoomed in so you can get a closer look at things. Um, these are the lashes that I am going to be applying today. They are from Lashaholic. Um, they are these super wispy, um, more separated lashes, but I really like this particular style because it opens my eye a lot more um, than other lashes do. So these have been like the only pair of lashes I've worn recently. Um, and I actually got these in my November Boxy Charm, and I'll leave that video linked in the description box down below if you'd like to see like my initial thoughts on them. Um, you can go check that out. But um, these are the lashes I'm going to be applying today. So um, first thing uh, that I'd recommend doing with your lashes um, is trimming them down when you first get them. Um, I have already done that with these since these are a pair of lashes I've worn a bunch. Um, but just trim them down to fit your eye. Um, you know, nobody wants to have lashes hanging off of one side and you know, it's just not good. So first, first step, trim your lashes. Another thing that helps with, especially with beginners, is the lash band, the thickness of it. Um, these have a relatively thin lash band, I would say. They're not super thick, um, but they it's also not thin. So um, it's kind of an in-between size of a band. Um, I have other lashes um, from Red Aspen. You know what? Hold on. All right, you guys, so I was mid-sentence when I caught up and left. Um, I went to go grab my other lashes with, well, my other lashes with different band thicknesses. Um, so the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes are more of a medium-sized band, um, so they are fairly easy to apply. I don't have any issues with them. Um, then the House of Lashes Lashes that I also got in BoxyCharm. Um, have a thin band um, so these are super easy to apply for beginners um, and that's really all the lash band is a big deal for um, is you know depending on how advanced you are with lashes if it's your first time putting on lashes I would advise you use a thin band not saying that you can't use a thick band lash but it's just a little more difficult to apply um, so as you can see these have a more thin band um, and then the last pair of lashes I have are these Red Aspen um, Lux False Lashes and these are in the style Gigi and they have a super, like, a super thick band. Like, let me just, let me just show you. You can see, like, the big black rim. That is the band and it is very thick, which makes it a little bit more difficult to apply. Um, but, you know, you just kind of have to to practice and work with it and um, you know kind of move the band back and forth a bit before you apply them and it'll kind of loosen it up but you know it is still a, a big band so it's a little more difficult to apply um, so lashaholic lashes are what I'm using today um, they have a medium medium band um, and they're pretty easy to apply so the first thing is tweezers. Um, a couple different kinds of tweezers or lash applicating tools you can find out there. Um, the one that I recommend using is a like blunt edge slanted tweezer. Um, I would not recommend using a pointy one because um, nobody wants their eye stabbed out. So um, don't do that. <laughs> I at least I would not recommend it. Um, you know, more power to you if you try, but um, I would not recommend it at all. Um, so slanted blood tip tweezers. Um, they do make lash applicator tools. I personally don't really like them. Um, I don't find that they help apply the lash any easier. Um, so I just prefer tweezers. I mean, it's just, you know, you kind of have to make a call on that on whether you want a lash applicator or just tweezers. Um, so then I got my tweezers, I got my lashes. I take the, the lashes from the center of the lash band and I just slowly pull it off because you don't want to pull any lashes out um, from your lashes. Um, and then I hold them kind of at the base like that. 
and I get my glue. So the glue that I've been using recently is the Tardis Pro. Um, I also like the Duo Lash Glue. Um, I've tried that before, I really like that one, but um, I ran out of it, so I just have been using what I have on hand. Um, so I just apply that to the band of the lash. You only need a thin layer, because you don't want super big globs of glue on your eyelid. Um, then I like hold it here, and I'll blow on it for a minute. And what this does is it gets the glue to get tacky. Um, it doesn't completely dry, but it gets tacky, so then it'll stick to your eyelid, which is helpful. So then after the glue has kind of turned clearish and it isn't as blue as it was when you first put it on, um, I then get a mirror and I get really up close to it, and I look downwards, like, and I, I just like stick it on from the center. Oh, wait, 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 whoa. Hold your horses for a second, people. Um, I am forgetting a step. Whoa, getting way ahead of myself. Thought I already had mascara on. So, real quick, I am not one of those people who puts mascara on after they're done with their lashes. Um, I put it on before, because when you put it on after, it ruins your lashes, and you have to clean them um, like a lot more than what you would if you didn't if you didn't layer on mascara after the fact. I'm gonna use the Grande Mascara um, this is their lash boosting formula. Really like this mascara. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes, a very thin layer. Nothing super thick. You don't want anything super clumpy. Just something to give a base to your lashes. Then I let that dry for a second. And then I will apply my lashes, which should be good and sticky now. Um, so I take it and then I apply it to the center. And then I press in the edge. And then I press in the other edge. And then I just take the other end of the tweezers and I kind of press down the center. And I'll go just along the lash band to make sure it's like down. And then my lashes on. And then I take my finger and I just kind of blink against it um, to kind of get the lashes to go together and not look so separated. Um, and that's pretty much it for applying lashes. It's very easy. Again, I say that now, but when I first, like, if you would have tried to get me to wear false lashes like two years ago, I would have like laughed in your face. But now that I have more experience with lashes and more practice with applying them, um, you know, they don't look bad at all when I apply them now. Um, I can get them lined up as close to my lash line as possible and that's another thing that um, takes practice is you know coming at your eye with something you know I used to be like uh I don't want stuff to touch me in the eyeball um, you know so it just takes a lot of practice um, but I hope some of the tips and tricks helped um, you apply your lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other one um, and I will be right back alright you guys so there are both lashes on um, I hope you found something helpful from this video. Um, real quick before I go, I do want to say with cleaning your lashes, that's another big thing. Um, you know, taking the glue off of your lash band after you've worn them a couple times. I don't clean my lashes every time I use them. I just don't, um, because I don't really need to. But once the glue gets, like, super, like, clumped up, um, after wearing them, like, maybe four or five times, um, you will have to go in and clean them. I find it is easiest to take two cotton pads and put a little bit of micellar water um, or eye makeup remover. I use the waterproof makeup removing micellar water, um, the one with the blue cap um, from Garnier. And you can uh, put that on two different cotton pads and then stick your one eyelash per two pads. Um, and stick your eyelash in between and let that sit there for like maybe five to seven minutes. Um, and then I take that off and it's super easy to pull the glue off and I just use a pair of tweezers to do that. Um, and then you just kind of comb through them with a spoolie and it's very easy to clean them. Um, so I hope you found something helpful from this video. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below on your favorite false lash brand. Um, and if you have never tried false lashes before, would you be willing to try them now? Um, 
Make sure to check me out on Instagram at Alex's Makeup Drawer, and you can subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!